Yes. Yeah. I can't, sorry. <laughs> Well, I thought he probably had his best overall game in terms of what we asked him to do and, and the way he directed the team and took care of the ball and, and uh, you know, the throws that he made. He made, continues to make plays with his feet, which we, we think are really important to give you a couple of fresh set of downs. And so, uh, so I, I was very pleased. And I told him that, you know, the, the biggest thing was that he, you know, he didn't press at any point and try to, try to do something that wasn't there, and that's something that we've been talking about. And, and uh, I just see him growing and growing as he gets more and more reps. Did you see just a little weight lifted off his shoulders at all? You know, I don't know about his, but mine, I know. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're not playing well. And uh, so, you know, he played extremely well. We played well with him, both sides of the ball, special teams. So it was a, it was a pretty complete game. And, uh, and the guys have been working so hard. It was just neat to see them in the dressing room. Do you think this will be a week where you guys try to build off of what was obviously successful against Florida Atlantic? And will we need to see a lot of the same types of ideas? Well, the A&M is an entirely different structure. Um, we would like to stay balanced. Uh, we had great balance, obviously, in the ball game Saturday, and that's something that we've – we need to be able to do to help protection, uh, uh, to help the play action game. So yes, from that standpoint, we'd like to stay balanced. Uh, uh, you know, structurally they line up different, so some of the things that we will do to try to attack will be will be different. Coach, when you talked about uh, wanting to get DJ come along a little more in protection and some other things, mm -hmm. based on how many touches he got on Saturday, mm -hmm. and looking at the film, did you see? Are you now starting to see those things out of him that are going to? You know, D DJ, you know, is a very explosive athlete. There's no question about it. And and the game, the game last week set up well for him. Uh, and what we were trying to do, we wanted to attack outside the tight end. We had been predominantly inside the tight end. We wanted to attack the perimeter more. So it really set up well for him. Um, obviously, Fozzie didn't play. Uh, so. You know, he did a heck of a job. He came in, did a heck of a job, and, and uh, you know, we'll continue to try to get him involved. Uh, a lot of it is the the game that we're playing and what we're seeing and, you know, how we're going about it. Uh, for example, the, the Nebraska game, almost everything was inside the tackles. So we felt like that, you know, Cody and Fozzie were, were much better in that area. And... Uh, but I was pleased with the way he played. I thought he, I thought he did a good job. He had prepared well and, and did a good job. Gave us a spark and did a great job on some of the sweeps under the boundary. Coach, you've been complimenting Von Miller now for a couple of years at least. What do you guys have to do offensively to counter that? Because you know he Well, he's an outstanding player. He's a great athlete. Uh, he's got a great first move. Uh, you know, like all great pass rushers, he can beat you around the edge, and then when you overset, you know, he'll take the inside. Um, and they, he's involved in a lot of different ways with them. You know, you, it's hard to kind of get a beat. Most of the time, you know, he'll play to the uh, to the boundary, but uh, he will play both, you know, both sides. And then from their three, four defense. Uh, they will move down, and all of a sudden they're in a four down. He's standing up, and you know the the understanding is it a four down front or a three down front. But he's a he's really a good player. I, I I just I've seen him grow from you know a guy that you saw spurts, but he's playing well every snap now, and, and uh, he he's probably as good a pass rusher as we've seen all year. Does he remind you at all of what Yeah, he's very similar. He's got great strength. There was a play. Uh, there was a play in the Nebraska game where the tackle turned out on him, you know, which you would think would be a pretty good match in a run game, and and I mean he just discarded him. In fact, we ran it back and ran it back and said, "Wow!" I mean, it shows his great strength, and he's always been able to run. He's always been able to run. He's always been a good pass rusher, and, but uh, you know he's playing both the run and the pass really well now. <clears throat>
Well, it'd be very similar to you know the process after every year. I mean, we'll go back and and we'll evaluate, you know, you know what we did in the run game, what we did in the pass game, you know, protections. I mean, it'll be a a, a total review as it as it is every year. And uh, but obviously, you know, one thing that is that sticks out already is that you know when we can play with balance, when we can play. Uh, you know, run, pass, play action, uh, you get bigger plays, uh, you're able to challenge the field more downfield off that action, and uh, and protection is real good. The uh, the post route that Garrett threw to James last week, I mean, probably held the ball for about four seconds before he released it. I mean, that's more than you can normally count on. But because we were running the ball and because of the play action, the line was able to hold up and, and give – James time to really work on the corner. So uh but it'll you know it'll be the process will be like it's like it's always been. <clears throat>